The beam resonates with the presence of another orb. To the north, to the north. clutched in frozen grass. Won't you talk to me? I don't understand why why you're not saying anything else. Um Alright, so that's west. So north is off this way. Actually let's let's get a little bit prepared here before we make this trek. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get down this mountain. I think this way. No. Well, horse, are you ready? <gasps> oh gosh! Oh horse, I hope you can swim. Quickly, come, come up quickly, quickly, come up. Oof. Okay, I guess that was really not smart. Now, I was thinking about this. There's a couple. Um, oh, you're licking my face. You liked it. You had fun jumping. Okay. You're a diving board horse. Uh, I was thinking about this. There's a couple swamps pretty close to me. I need to hang out near there during a full moon. Oh my gosh. There's cows right here. Oh my gosh. How much time did I spend? How much time did I spend trying to get cows when they're right here? Alright, lady, you hang out there for a minute. I'm going to get some cowsies for leather. Although I probably should have saved them to breed. In fact, I'll save the other one, whoever's there to breed. Alright, we're headed to the north. If we can get out of this water... Okay, west is that way, so north North is this way. Oh man, this might be a non-horse trip. This might be a boat trip. Oh god. Blanket. <laughs> ah. Okay, this may be a horse trip. So so far we've Well, we've reviewed one map and I guess if I'm going after an orb, that probably means I'm going after the next map review, right? I don't know how to get through here. Alright, so we have passed into Snow Country. And he said something about frozen grasp. Interesting looking mountains. Sort of magically floating up there. All right, we've got frozen water. Not, oh, oh, I know, horse, it's cold. Oh, 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 come on, get up before you freeze. Get up before you freeze. Ooh. Oh, I have never, oh. Frozen grasp, like fingers grasping up from the ground. Packed ice. Okay, I have never actually seen this biome before in a survival world. So this is a first for me. Happy about that. Thank you, cows, for sharing your warm leather with me. Oh, I can't do that. Luckily, I have a silk touch pick. So I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab some of this ice while I'm here. Alright, let's make let's make your horse repository. I know it's called a horse containment unit, but for some reason horse repository sounded funny. It's a good thing I didn't say horse suppository though. That'd be embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Come here, horse. It's cool, but your gold armor is keeping you warm. I trust. Alright, is this the one? I should name these, actually. I should name these. I don't know. Okay, did that work? <gasps> it did work, yes! I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with this packed ice. But I am thinking I'm going to use it to build something. Oh, there's a, there's a cave here. There's a cave down here under this packed ice. 
Could this be the frozen grass that the voice hinted at? Let's find out together, shall we? Oh, 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 is there a zombie dungeon down here? That would seem appropriate. No. <laughs> okay, there's not. Fortune one and efficiency. Fortune one. Oh, that doesn't work on this. That would work on coal, does it? No, I still don't got five drops. Okay, so wait, so maybe there's something hidden under one of the other ice poppers. Oh, and also, I wanted to try this. Okay, no, that doesn't work on ice. I wanted to try... I wanted to try the, uh... Silk Touch on regular ice. <gasps> it worked! Oh my goodness, so... So wait, if I bring this ice to the nether, will that... Melt? <laughs> and turn into water? And then evaporate? Oh, that's cool. I will have to be careful where I put that ice. Okay, wait, let's test this here. One, one... One, one, one. <gasps> you booger. That's right, you fall through the floor with the force of my bow. Okay, there, I thought, I think I just saw two things. Wait, so is the thing here? No. Okay. Orb, where are you, Orb? I want to review another map. Oh. I might be dilly-dallying too much. All right, we're digging out the bottom of this one. Not seeing anything. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. My, all my speculation is now making me doubt. I am doubting that there is anything here. Perhaps this is not the fro- Are you kidding me? Are you- Are you telling me- Are you the spirit of this map? Is this the one I'm supposed to dig open? Is this what I'm supposed to dig? Would that be amazing? Okay, you're not. You're just a chicken. You're just a chicken. It's a different map. Different avatar. That is weird, though. Oh, there we go. Is this the orb? Red orb. Install the orb and observe. Okay. I got it. I got... I don't... I don't know if he can hear me. Uh... I'll grab four more packed ice, so I'll have two stacks of packed ice. Uh, might as well take this chest, and then I have seven regular ice. We'll grab a little bit more regular ice, and then I guess we'll head back. And actually, before I go too far from here, I will note that I made myself a compass because I kept getting very lost earlier. And I want to go up to the top of this mountain just to see... What else is around here? Is there anything else worth going after out this way? It doesn't look like it's going to be very promising, but we'll see in a moment if she can navigate up here without falling and breaking her neck and killing us both in some fashion or other. Come on, girl. You're not the best jumper in the world, but you are you can do it. I have absolute faith in you. Okay. Aw, oh, shucks. I can't see anything. Okay. Uh, there's another chicken down there. That's a cool mountain. That looks like a doorway. A doorway to Norway, actually. I'm not really seeing anything 
Very interesting off in these direction. Uh, I'm not seeing anything in the water. I am kind of hoping for one of them water temples. But nope. There's some swamp. Have not found any villages. All right, let's use the compass to return home. All right, I'm curious. I've never actually placed a block of uh, ice in the nether, so I'm going to bring one in, and I just want to see what happens. I'm assuming it's going to melt. I don't know if the water is going to disappear, or if it will... Let's just take a quick peek around here. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Uh, we'll put it... Let's make a nice... Oh wait. We don't want the silk touch. We don't even want the fortune one actually, but that's all I have on me. We'll make a nice little... Uh, nice little thing here. Will it mount on its own? I don't know. That should melt it. Have more torches. What happens when the water melts? I mean, when the... Or does the ice... Oh, that should definitely melt. What happens? What happens? Ah! Gosh, I wish I had a sign. I would call this the invisible fountain. All right. Here we are going for the red orb. And we'll put this one. All right, so we put the one in that highest room. This is the second highest room. Oh, I already put the brewing stand there. All right, so let's install. Excellent. Now let's observe. So here's Whoa. nine. Is that me? Aha, there's the alpha key. Okay. Okay, five and six. This is an interesting map, that's for sure. So here's five and six. Spawn a zombie. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's... All right, let's let's do what I'm supposed to do here. Two villagers. I'm obviously gonna get. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to fight in this map all the way up to level 30. Okay, let's see what do we got here. We got 65, 64, and 66. That's the thing. I guess we'll put him here. Wow, I really, I have never, I don't think I've ever done this in full Minecraft. I've always done it in some sort of a custom setting. Okay, so that was a puzzle map. Consider what you have seen oh, and record it fairly. Get, all right, I, I need to get a book now. That's, I, somehow I thought these would all be adventure maps, but I guess... I do rate all types of map genres, so that does make sense. Oh, I guess I need to go all the way back down to get a book. Shoot. Alright, I had to go around quite a bit to get all of the supplies to make books, but I did manage to get some cows back to the mainland base area thing, and I have a book to do the review of that world that I just saw. So let's head up there. And we were going to go up to this one. Hmm. Okay, maybe once I write it, that will turn into the chest. So this was Infinite Chest. These are parallel worlds, and they're in danger. We put? must protect them. You must build a vault oh, with 13 okay. seals. 13 seals? Oh, okay. So I leave... Okay. So the orbs are going to stay there. Okay, now nothing changed here this time. That's good. But I need to build a vault. Okay.
Okay, let's put this, I guess, in here for safekeeping. So this is the initial sort of digging of the vault um, with the, for the 13 seals. I've actually trapped myself down here waiting for the vines to grow. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I've got tons and tons of uh, cobble, and I actually just used up the last wood to make sticks. Uh, so I've literally just been digging, and I've been sort of... Uh, it, this actually looks a lot more square than I had in mind. The room itself is is circular, and the path around the outside goes uh, down. Of course, you could jump down, but to get back up, you'll definitely have to take the path. Uh, but I think I may, I may have to look at doing this a little less square. You can, you can actually see it's very much circular. Huh. I think it looks so square because the path is so wide around the corner. So anyway, that's what I'm working on now is the basic shape of this room. I want it to kind of spiral down and I'll have the seals I think along the walls but then the uh, vault door in the middle. That's at least what I was thinking of doing and um, I will show you what that looks like. Alright so I think this is pretty much the finished vault uh, for the moment. You can see sort of these, um, I don't know, they look, to me, they look like conduits, cables running up the four corners, and then there's 13 seals, and then there's a vault uh, down below. I think I'm going to probably try to add some redstone for, like, some vault doors uh, to keep the world safe, I guess, the worlds that I review, and then... Um, Move the move some of the chests in here. All right, so we need to we need to take this dead world review. Oh, oh, that was that's interesting. Uh, we need to take this and we need to bring it down to our vault, which has gotten a little bit of a makeover. I have the second book, uh, Infinite Chest. Oh, I just realized this one I put ADV, this one I didn't put anything. Whoops, okay, well, maybe we'll fix that at some future date. Shouldn't have even called it out to the camera, to be honest with you. Let's go check out what I've done to the vault. I'm actually getting really happy with the way this looks. I don't like these vines. I tried to put them all on one wall, but they keep growing, and they're even invading out here, which is fine. But, check this idea out. So what I'm basically doing is I'm going to be turning each of these sections of wall into the type of biome uh, that I got the book from. So I, I feel like that will be a really cool way to commemorate these uh, observances and recordings of maps. All right, so the first one that we the first one that we obtained, as I said, was uh, Dead World, and this is a uh, post-apocalyptic adventure map review. All right, so let's put this in yes. here. Yes, the seals are responding. We are learning. Huh, okay, well, at least I know I'm doing something right. This guy doesn't talk to me except when he wants something from me. And the second one, uh, these are just puzzle maps. Of any type, I guess. This was Infinite Chest, was the first one. Let's put it right smack in the middle. So puzzle maps are going to go there. And post-apocalyptic adventure maps are going to go here. And um, now the only, the only other thing that I was going to do uh, at this Each point... Each record placed within the vault will strengthen the seals. Uh, Okay, <laughs> I guess I have to go get another orb. But I was I was going to actually build the vault piston doors, and uh, north and west in the painted land, the next orb awaits. 